Hello guys, so we're going to have a look um, today at putting on some fly line onto the reel. So we're going to attach the fly line onto the backing. I just sold the reel and some fly line and some backing to a guy starting off and he rang me today and um, he was like, got all that but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. So I said I'd do a little video um, just showing you what's involved. It's really quite simple. There's only two knots you need. What I used to put the um, backing here, which I've already done, um, and the reason I've already done it is because anybody can really put backing onto a reel. It's, not, it's literally two overhand knots and um, wind it on. The reason you don't need to be too concerned about the backing is because you're not, never really going to see the backing. And if you do, you're definitely never going to get to the end of it. And if you find that you've gone through all your fly line and all your backing and there's a fish still running, you were in serious trouble before you ever uh, got this reel kitted out. So you just need two overhand knots, um, tighten it down, cinch it down. You can, you can then, just on the tag end if you like, put another overhand knot and... Um, just leave it like that and then cut it off here so that if there ever is slippage on the back of it it'll catch here but um, there really is no need so once you have your backing on your line or on your reel it's time to attach your backing to your fishing line so all fishing lines will come with either a black end so airflow do black ends and basically that is black is back so that's the back of the line goes to the reel or else they'll come with a little thing here which says attach to end of reel so you can't really go around with that this end attaches to the to the end of the reel so we've already done the all bright knot with you before so we're going to do it again so the all bright knot you make a loop with the the thicker line makes the loop the smaller line then goes through it leave about I don't know, six or seven inches out there and then you end up with one two three strands that you're going to wrap around so we're going to do this seven or eight or nine times here just to get this right so we go one and just pull in a little bit tighter that's perfect now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> Pardon me. And then we're going to pass that knot back through this hole there. Pull it out. Tighten it up. Now, so that, I don't know if you can see that there, where is it? Yeah, that is what we're looking like now at the moment. And we last time we did this, we did it with mono and braid, and um, it kind of went together real easily. All we did is wet it. This is a, a little trickier. I want to be a little more careful with it um, and a little neater. So eventually we just cinch it together and then when we get to about here start pulling the, the main lines, not the tag ends, just the main lines. Get it nice and tight like that. Then you can give the tags a little, just a little tug. And the main lines again. Now. And you get your nippers. There is your fly line to backing connection knot. Nice little knot. Won't come loose ever, regardless what you have on it. 
it's really nice and neat and tidy. Now, um, so that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Make sure you subscribe so we can get loads more videos out to you. Um, I will be doing a plethora of new videos quite shortly. Going to have some special guests on, some, some nice fly tying videos and um, some stuff to get you set up for the coming season on the river when you're, whether you're trout or salmon fishing. So this is just for, I thought I'd do this video because, as I said, I sent a reel and line and back into some guy and um, he didn't know how to stick it on so I said I'd do that. That's basically the connection. So now you just start winding until you fill your spool up and uh, that's it. Mm -hmm.